Welcome sa e-school ng bayan. Andito ako para samahan kayong mag-review. Tara, aral! So our topic for today is operations on polynomials, specifically addition and subtraction, and then on thing multiplication. So adding and subtracting polynomials or monomials, ang ating lang pwedeng i-add are those similar or like terms, okay? So ano yung ating tinatawag na like terms? These are yung mga variables natin. Uh, ito yung mga terms natin with the same variables and at the same time, pareho yung power or exponent ng variables na to. So for example, yung a, 2a, and 5a, para pareho, uh, these are like terms or similar terms kasi lahat sila merong a at lahat ng a nila, ang power lang is 1. So similarly, itong 2x, 0.9x, 12x, these are like terms kasi Ang common variable nila or the same variable nila is x tapos ang power would be 1 din. Okay, lastly, we have x squared y, 3x squared y, and x squared 2y. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo, kahit ibahin mo yung order since factors lang naman to, hindi siya nagmamatter. This is still considered na like term as this one and this one. Kasi pareho silang may x raised to 2 and then y raised to 1. Okay, so let's try an example. If we have 2x plus 5y minus 3y, ang pwede natin i-add or subtract is yung magkakaparehong terms. In this case, we have itong 2x and negative 3x or yung minus 3x natin. So, igugroup natin sila or ipagtatabi kasi sila yung pareho or like terms. So, for some, kapag medyo advanced na kayo or kapag nasari na kayo mag-solve ng ganitong mga problems, Minsan, hindi nyo na siya kailangan i-group. But in this case, pinapakita ko lang na itabi natin sila kasi sila yung ating pwede lang i-add or subtract. And then we have here plus 5y. Okay, so yung y, iba siyang, hindi siya part nung uh, x, quote-unquote, x-like term natin. Okay, so uh, first, group the like terms. The next, copy the common variables and its power. In this case, yung x natin, ang power niya lang is 1 and ang y natin is Ang power niya lang rin is 1. So the next is to add or subtract the coefficients. So for x, ano ba yung coefficients na meron tayo? 2 and negative 3. So 2 plus negative 3 or 2 minus 3, pareho lang yun, okay? Plus, ano ba yung coefficients ng y natin? 5 lang yung meron. So isisulat lang natin dyan, 5. Okay? So here we have the final answer would be negative x plus 5y. So, take note na when you're adding or subtracting, follow mo lang rin yung rules na meron ka for adding and subtracting integers or positive and negative numbers. Okay? Wala namang questions dito, ba? So, let's try to answer some examples. Let's say we have 1x, kasi adding monomials to. So, actually, unnecessary naman yung parenthesis, but I just want to show that we are adding monomials. So, here we have 1x plus 4x. We just add 1 plus 4. Yan ang ating coefficients times x. Okay? So this is equal to 5x. Lahat naman siguro nakuha to. Kung meron hindi, huwag mahiyang magtanong. Number 2. 4x squared plus 3x squared. Okay? Ano yung common variable natin dito? That would be x. Okay? And then, ano yung power? 2. Right? So now let's add yung coefficients niya. 4 plus 3. So this is equal to 7x squared. Okay, number 3. 12xyz plus 3xy plus negative 4yz. Okay, paano naman to? Meron tayo itong like terms. And then, we have this another term. Okay? So, let's work with x, y, z first. Ano ang kanyang coefficients? 12 and negative 4. Times x, y, z. Plus, ito, ikakopy lang natin. Okay? Kasi hindi siya like term. So, here, 12 minus 4, that's equal to 8x, y, z plus 
3xy. Okay? So, this is our final answer for number 3. Eh, di ba? Madali lang. Kasi, right now, we're just adding polynomials. Right? Okay, last two examples. Just to make sure na everyone nakafollow. Here we have negative 3x plus 12x. Okay? So, this is equal to negative 3 plus 12 times x. Okay? So, again, take note ng rules niyo for add for adding and subtracting negative or positive integers. So here we will have opposite signs. So subtract them. That's 9. And then follow yung sign no bigger number. So 9x. How about number 5? 4y minus 18y. This is equal to 4 minus 18 times y. Okay, so kapag meron kang ganito, what will you do? Um, 18 minus 4, that's 14. And then, anong sign na follow mo? Yung sign ng 18. So, you have negative 14y. Meron bang questions? I don't think meron. So, now it's your turn. Try nyo naman. Okay. So, okay. So, here are the answers. For number 1, 4 squared times xy plus xy, xy, so take note, 4 squared to, so that's 16, plus, kapag wala kang coefficient, meron kang imaginary 1, okay? Kaya meron kang 1 dito. 16 plus 1 times xy, that's 17xy. Number 2, 21x squared y plus negative 4x squared y, that's equal to 21, plus negative 4 or minus 4 times x squared y. So this is equal to 17x squared y. How about number 3? Negative 12 minus negative 5. So same lang yan sa negative 12 plus 5. Okay? Kasi negative negative. So plus 5 lang yan. So if, if we add this one, negative 12 plus 5, we will get negative 7. So times x, y cubed. Number 4. 52 plus negative 8, same lang yan as 52 minus 8. So that's equal to 46. 46 times y raised to 5 times z. Okay, how about number 5? Negative 17x plus negative 2x. So ito, yung plus negative mo, same lang yan, say negative. Or kung bahala kayo, pwede nyo pa rin naman siyang isulat as Negative 17 plus negative 2. So, anong mas comfortable kayo? So, negative 17 minus 2, that's equal to negative 19x. Okay? May mali ba ako? Wala naman. Ma'am, 44 po. Ay, oo nga. This one. 52 minus 8 is actually equal to 44, not 46. So, taglan. How about if we are dealing with uh, polynomials in general? Okay, adding and subtracting polynomials. So basically, i-apply mo lang yung concept ng adding monomials. So titingnan mo lang kung like terms and then yun lang yung pwede mong i-add or subtract. So for example, if we have 2x squared plus 4x cubed Minus 12x squared plus x cubed. Okay, here we have, anong tawag dito? Monomial. And here we have a trinomial. So we're adding a monomial plus a trinomial. So kapag meron ka lang addition, simply drop your parenthesis. You will have 2x squared plus 4x cubed minus 12x squared plus x cubed. Okay, so... For now, papakita ko muna gin group natin yung like terms. Sa mga next example, hindi ko na ipapakita. So here we have 2x squared. Ano yung kapareho niya? This one. So guys, yung sign na nag-precede sa kanya, kukopyahin mo yun. Okay? Negative or minus 12x squared. Plus, itong 4x cubed and itong x cubed dito. Plus x cubed. Okay, now add yung like terms. 2 minus 12, that's equal to negative 10x squared plus 4x cubed plus x cubed. 4 plus 1, so 5x cubed. Okay? So, I think it's a good, pero 
by convention, ang proper way of writing it would be 5x cubed minus 10x squared. Kasi mas mataas yung degree ng term na ito. Okay? Yung higher degree na term, yun yung mas mauna. Pero convention lang to. But technically, these two are correct and they are both equal to each other. So, pinapakita ko lang kasi pagdating sa exam, pwedeng yung negative 10x squared plus 5x cubed yung nasa choices, pwede rin naman yung 5x cubed minus 10x squared yung nasa choices. So, pareho lang yung natama. Okay. Number 2. You have 4x cubed y plus 2z minus 9x cubed y minus 5z. So, kanina, we were adding monomial plus trinomial. This time, we're subtracting a binomial from another binomial. So, kung anong sinasubtract mo, kailangan mo i-distribute yung sign na yun. Okay? So, imagine you're like multiplying negative 1 sa both terms mo dito. Okay? Para ma-drop natin yung parentheses. And then, we can proceed to adding or subtracting yung ating like terms. Okay? So, here we have Ito, wala namang negative sa start ya, so we will just write 4x cubed y plus 2z. Okay. And then, plus negative 1 times 9x cubed y, negative 9x cubed y, plus negative 1 times negative 5z. That's equal to positive 5z. Okay? Nakuha? So here, pwede mo rin namang i-drop your parenthesis and pwede i- Maintain mo pa rin negative dyan. So, let's group 4x cubed y minus 9x cubed y plus 2z plus 5z. Okay? So, here we have 4 minus 9. That's equal to negative 5x cubed y plus, how about this one? 7z. Okay? So, this is our final answer. May questions pa? Um, negative 4x plus 4x cubed plus 7 minus 3x cubed minus 9x minus 3x. Okay? So here, anong mangyayari? Um, let's try to drop yung parenthesis. So ito again, distribute natin sa lahat ng terms. So copy lang ito. Ito magiging negative 3x cubed. Hindi ko na nilagay yung plus sa kasi ganun lang rin naman yun. How about this one? Negative 9x times negative 1 magiging plus. And this one then magiging plus. Okay? So like terms, 4x cubed minus 3x cubed plus negative 4x plus 9x plus 3x. So actually ito, pwede nyo naman siyang isimplify muna. Okay? Hindi ko lang siya napansin kanina. So, hindi ko siya replify. Pero you can simplify this one to 12x. Okay? To negative 12x bago ka mag-proceed. Either way, you should come up with the same answer. Ano pang term na hindi ko nakuha? Plus 7. So, here, 4x cubed minus 3x cubed. That's equal to x cubed. Plus 4x, negative 4x plus 9x plus 3x. Ang sagot dito would be, ano, 9, ah, sorry, 8x. Okay, 8x plus, ito 7 lang naman, so, plus 7. Tama ba arithmetic ko? This is our final answer. Okay, may questions po for this one. Di ba same lang naman siya sa kanina? Wala namang questions? Now, let's answer. For number one, we have 7x cubed minus 14 plus 5x cubed minus x minus 8. Okay, here, the direct ko na 7x cubed plus 5x cubed, that's 12x cubed. Um, next term natin get yung x kasi mas malaki yung degree niya kasi dito. So, then our constants, negative 14 plus negative 8, that's equal to negative 22. Tama ba? Yeah, negative 22. Number two, 8a raised to, ay wala, 8a plus 4. Guys, pag may mali ako nasulat pa, 
ano na lang sa chat? 4a raised to 5 plus 3a minus 2. Okay, so, ano unahin natin term? This one. May like term ba siya? Wala. So, just write it. Plus 8a plus 3a, that's equal to 11a. 4 minus 2, that's equal to 2, or positive 2. So, this is for number 2. How about number 3? Negative 4yz plus 3y squared z plus 9 minus 4y squared z plus 3yz minus 11. Okay. So, unahin natin itong y squared z. Positive 3 and then negative 4. Okay. So, that's equal to negative 1 or simply negative y squared z. Now, this time, yung yz, we have negative 4 minus positive 3. Negative 4 minus 3, that's equal to negative 7. Okay? Lastly, we have our constant, positive 9 plus 11. Correct? That would be equal to plus 20. How about number 4? Sa mga bago, huwag na hiya magtanong kasi dito wala tayong bobo or smart shaming. Okay. 2x squared plus 7x and yung kasunod. Plus 2. Okay, so here we have yung ating x squared muna. 5. Negative, negative. So magiging positive. 5 plus 2, that's 7. Next would be x, negative 3 minus positive 7, so that's negative 10, negative 10x. How about this one? Positive 9 minus positive 2, so ang sagot dyan would be plus 7, okay? Seven, uh, 9 minus 2. So this is our answer for number 4. Number 5, 7y cubed plus 9y squared plus 5 minus... 9y cubed minus 9y squared plus 8y plus 5. Okay. So, unahin natin yung y cubed. 7 minus 9, that's equal to negative 2. y squared. 9 minus negative 9 or 9 plus 9, that's equal to positive or plus 18. How about yung y? Wala namang y dito, so isa lang yung y term natin. So, that's 8y. 5 minus positive 5 or 5 minus 5, that's equal to 0. So, ito yung ating final answer. Okay? May questions ba on this? Okay, now let's move on to multiplying monomials.